Hey guys, welcome back to Angular 10 Spring Boot Crude Full Stack Application Tutorial Series. In previous video, we have made get employer by id rest api and we have populated a particular employee data in update employee page in this video we will make a update employee rest api call and we will send update employee form data to the update employee rest api and update employee rest api internally store this update employee data into a mysql database let's go ahead and let's write a rest client code to make update employee rest api let's head over to vs code id and let's open the employee service and here we are going to create a method let's say update the employee and this method takes two parameters one is id of the particular employee and second argument as the employee updated data and this is the type of employee typescript class followed by colon and then observable and here we can pass object as a type and then we simply return this dot http client and then this is a put http request so let's call put method and use backstick and dollar within a curly basis let's call base url and then uh, slash and then dollar and let's access id using dollar curly braces like this and let's pass second argument as employee object that's it guys pretty simple now we want to call this update employee method in update employee component let's head over to the update employee component here and we have update employee form right and once we submit the update employee form it will uh, you know call on submit event handler so let's first define this on submit event handler in update employee component here within our unsubmit method we're gonna call user service and then we call update employee method of user service object and update employee method expect two arguments one is id and another is employee object so let's go ahead and let's pass id here so id how can we get id and we can get id like this this dot id comma this dot employee so this id we already got from the route using this syntax and this is the employee object right and this employee object will automatically populated uh, by angular using ng model directive and we're gonna subscribe to this method because it this method uh, returns observable so we can subscribe and we can handle the synchronous response and followed by handle a response inside subscribe method like this this arrow syntax so once employee updated successfully and we got a success response from the rest api then we will navigate to the employee list page right so for that we need to write a route here so that we should navigate to the employee list uh, page so go to the create employee component and here we have already written a code let me just uh, reuse this code just copy and uh, go to the again update employee component paste it here and first we need to inject a router here inside a constructor so private router and then it's a router so make sure that router is imported at the top all right and we use navigate method of router and then we pass a path a particular route uh, which it navigate okay for example this is the path we have configured in app routing module this is and it will render a corresponding component that is the employee list component now let's go ahead and let's call this method here this dot go to employee list and here we can handle the error response like we can print 
the error response to the console all right pretty simple right so we just call update employee method of employee service class and then we pass id and the updated employee object to the update employee method and this is a synchronous call so it returns observable so we subscribe to it and we can handle the response asynchronously and once we got success response from the HTPI we can call you know uh, go to employee list method it internally uh, you know it will, uh, it will route to the employee list page well let's save all the files and let's go back to browser and let's see how it works well go to the employee list page let's go ahead and let's update one of the employee i'm going to update admin employee click on update button and let's update first name from admin to administrator and email id from admin to administrator and hit submit button yeah here we go the employee is successfully updated the first name and email id is successfully updated right all right guys we have successfully made update employee HTTP call and we have sent updated employee from data to the update employee HTTP and update employee HTTP internally store this data into a mysql database all right guys we have successfully implemented update employee functionality Thanks for watching guys, I will see you in the next video.